This is Manchester, the parts we know and love. But underneath this hectic city, one photographer went to the depths to show us what we don't really see. Welcome to Art Profile, the show that gives you the insight to bright new talent in the world of art. This week we went to Urbis where digital photographer Andrew Brooks gave us his insight into Hidden Manchester. Um, I'm a Manchester based photographer. Um, I've been working in photography for about 15 years. I guess I got into photography after having an interest in art and doing fine art but then I took a bit of a sideways step into sort of documentary photography and, um, and then that led to more sort of studio based photography which eventually led to this sort of strange hyper-real digital photography that I work on now. I love going to like city art galleries and seeing the big you know, oil paintings and beautiful landscapes. I'm trying to get that in my work and trying to create pictures that have a sort of painterly feel. I was initially with a commission for Urbis and um, they commissioned me directly to do this and, um, and one of the curators here got in touch and it, I think he'd just seen my work and really liked the way I kind of work with space within my photographs. And for a job like this, it's all about getting into strange spaces and sort of representing them in an interesting way. It's, my style is quite ideal. But all the pictures are built of many different captures, so I'll go to a place and I won't just take one snapshot. I'll um, build it from, like in the case of this picture, there's about 200 different captures to make the one exposure. So it's like, it's almost like a jigsaw being put together and by, with all these different captures and exposures I can really control the atmosphere and, and the, the space within the scene. But I don't give too many of my secrets away because it's taken me years to work on that. The starting point was the tunnels under Manchester because there's whole like tunnel systems that there's all these rooms about and that was that was how the project started and then we got interested in the urban explorers and they showed us to a couple of the locations that are in the project and then we ended up going above ground as well and going to like the top of the town hall which is where this is and the clock tower and also some great locations in the palace hotel this picture is taken from the top of the palace hotel um, there's a few ideas going on in this picture I really I mean, it's a sight you see all around Manchester. You see it when um, you know, on like the news bulletins and stuff like that. So it's a really familiar sight, and I wanted to create like a really nice picture, really beautiful picture, but from the opposite side of it. So it maybe takes a while to twig what it is, but it's such a familiar sight that when it does, you can totally place it in the city. Because if, it, if you know Manchester, if you know Oxford Road, if you drive down the Mancunian Way, you know where that is. Um, another thing that I had in mind when I was taking it is you can see the town hall through there. I've made that bigger than it should be, and. That's another of the locations within this exhibition. So um, I really like the idea that there's a couple of them that kind of refer to each other. So it really sort of places the exhibition around the town and you get a feeling of all the different parts of it. This picture is called St Peter's Annals. It's, um, there's, it's part of the big town hall um, and it's a tower that goes off St Peter's Square. Um, you, see it from, you can see it from the road and it's just these long windows and it looks really ornate. Around the town hall there are all these places like that. You see it from the outside and it's really slick but then you, when you start looking around it's got these amazing kind of old bits of um, you know, old storage areas and it's quite scruffy but you can't see it. This light shining through and the glow I, I create after that sort of different exposures creates this, this flow of light. I wanted it to look really warm and almost like something out of a film like a, sort of a Harry Potter film or something like that. This picture was taken on a culverted bit of the River Medlock, which means it's an underground river or a covered river. Um, the arch is a Victorian arch, um, and it's a really fascinating place to visit. It's a part of the city that you can't see, it's totally covered, but it's just this beautiful architecture. It's this really elegant, egg type shape, um, but no one can see it, and it just makes you think in this day and age, if someone did that, it'd just be like some square, you know, it'd be the easiest option. But it was this beautiful shape, which I really wanted to show in the shot. I wanted this to curve and the flow of it. And we were shown to this place by one of the urban explorers and he wouldn't reveal his identity to us but he showed us a few of the locations and they kind of discover these places and post about them online and 
really. The other and their friends can go down. And they photograph them as well. I had a real clear idea in mind when I created this picture. I wanted it to look like the kind of guts of the city and almost like a circuit board. And I felt it was really good to find a location that had that. If you walk around the Arndale Centre, I think this is under, underneath the very newest bit, which is all marble and slick and really, really kind of, um, you know, really designed. But then you go down like a few feet and you see the service tunnels and the things that keep it running. The pipes were these kind of colours, but I did, I can, I can do stuff with the colours of the image to make them more saturated and more colourful. So it really does look sort of punchy and like a circuit board or like, I like the way the bits here, the red kind of almost looks like veins or something like that. And that, that kind of is what keeps these big modern shopping centres going. There's always the idea in mind that we'd maybe try and do another couple of cities, take a few of these pictures with us, but then create like five or six for each new city, and then eventually create like a hidden city project, you know, take it around the world, this style of photography, looking at the city in this way, because I'm, you know, I don't think there's any cities that haven't got this fascinating kind of hidden side. Manchester, when you spent a few years here, or when you know the city well, you can kind of walk the streets and it can see, seem quite grey, you can feel like you know it. But then sometimes you look a bit deeper, you look you know, behind some closed doors or just have a look at it in a different way and there's this whole really fascinating world around it. So hopefully it might help people make people look at the city a bit differently and look at these buildings and think like what's up there and you know, look at it in a bit more of a kind of imaginative way.